Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. All right, so we've got ourselves a criminal here. Let's uh, head out. We've got some more work to do. So let's see if we can get the evidence that ties Pegnos Pete to the bank. Uh, this is the Hall of Justice. I need to go down this way, I think. Okay, so the bank is being guarded by Tubbo over here, so let's uh, see if there's another way we can get in. Oh, yes, I forgot to pick this back up. Let's grab that again. Oh, crud. I dropped the sword into the sewers. Oh, well. Now it's a broken and very stinky sword. Okay, let's... I'm not picking that up. Pick up the manhole cover. Now let's take a quick look at it. I can't use this. Look. There's something scratched into the bottom of this. It says, Cindy loves Fred. But scratched out right next to that, it says, Larry loves Cindy. What All a right. weird place to profess your love for someone. Cindy, Larry, and Fred. So let's head over to the Palace of Prostheses again. Oh, get in the... Hello, Dave. Dave? Yates? Uh, I would like some super. I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Uh, I mean, what do you got that's free? What have you got that's free? Free? <laughs> what do you think I'm running? A charity? What can I say? I'm broke. <sighs> okay, you've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, unguaranteed, unapproved experimental prosthetic devices. Neat. What kind of prosthetic devices are we talking about? I'll let you choose through a story. Huh? Humor me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Uh, Larry. Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Named Cindy. Cindy? Cindy. Unfortunately, Cindy's hand had already been promised to a vile cad named... Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? Realizing that beauty was only skin deep, she married the ugliest man in town. The end. What a dreadful story. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? This is something special. It's a sample of my newly created, ultra-stretchy, one-size-fits-all prosthetic skin. Yeah. With just a few square feet of this miracle substance, a pirate can replace all the skin he's lost during a lifetime of sword fighting, knife fighting, keel hauling, and the occasional flogging. And it comes complete with a set of tiny hooks for easy attachment. I repeat. Yeah. Tiny hooks, you say? That sounds like I could make a makeshift trampoline out of that. See you later. That makes one of us. All right, let's leave. Oh, get in the... Get out. All right, so... To this manhole cover, or manhole, rather... Let's use the skin with the manhole. Hey, it's like a trampoline. Wonderful. Let's use the manhole button. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, well, we made it inside. Everything's off. Let's, uh, Climb down the ladder. Boy, sure is creepy in here. I wonder what would happen if I pull it. Well, let's use it. It controls that light. Technology marches forward. Hmm. Okay, I think, uh... Oh, scupperware. Hmm. Music started playing and then it stopped. That's ominous. What is that up there? Let's climb the ladder again. What's that shadow? It looks like, 
And a nose? Hey, a prosthetic nose. Well, how did that get Ooh, there? Ew, gross. I'll bet this belongs to that smelly pirate guy. The one with no nose. I'll take that, Mr. Threepwood. Ack! What are you doing in here? I might ask you the same question. Instead, I'll just take that as evidence. Let's go try it on Pegnose. No, this wouldn't be enough to convict him. Even if it fits, it only proves he was in the bank. It doesn't tie him to the loop. You still think I did it, don't you? Yes, but I can be swayed by the right evidence. Now get out of here. All right, so... Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. Oh, yeah. And so, my swashbuckling citizens, as we approach the next century, can we really afford to entrust Melee Island's future to a man with no past, a man with no experience, a man who doesn't even seem to like pirates? Common sense says no! My opponent is right. I am a newcomer to these islands, and it's true that my experience in affairs of state is minimal at best. But it doesn't take a seventh-generation pirate princess to see that Melee Island needs more than a part-time status quo governor. A governor who can't even promise her citizens good times and free grog. Stop! Stop! Stop it! You, you, you can't be stupid enough to believe that Charles is just gonna give you free grog and good times, can you? Uh, that would be funny if it weren't so sad. Modern day affairs and all that. Well, Charles old Charles seems to be uh, winning over the crowd on the promise of good times and free grog. Uh, as stupid as that sounds, it appears to be working. All right, let's leave. Whoa! Ow. Okay, almost stuck the landing there, Guybrush. Okay, so we've caught Pegno's Pete and tied him to the scene of the crime. There's just one piece of, one piece left. Let's go have a chat with Ozzy and tell him that the jig is up. Hello, Ozzy. I'm back. What do you want now? So, uh... You're the jerk that hired Pegnos. Hey, you're the jerk who hired Pegnos to frame me for the bank robbery. That's strange. I heard that you were the one who robbed the bank. Ha! I overheard you talking to Pegnos in the swamp. What? You heard me. I know all about your scheme to steal the Marley heirlooms. Ah! Your puny pirate brain is incapable of perceiving the true depths of my scheme. Besides, you'll never be able to pin anything on me without the loot. And you'll never find it. Ha! I already found it. Really? You found Pegnose's booty showcase? Um, yeah. What did it look like? Very nice. Lots of booty. It's very nice. Lots of booty. Hmm. You're probably bluffing. But I was planning to take a hike to the showroom anyway. And when I return, I'll have plumbed the mysteries of the ultimate insult. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Grandpa Marley's letter mentioned the ultimate insult. Wonder if it's important. Hmm. Looks like he's still leaving a trail. Let's go follow it. After all, we don't actually know where the loot is. That's right, Ozzy. Lead us right to it. Good thing I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. Now, where did that Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, there he is. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Nazis. Mm. This ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. The heirlooms must be nearby. Okay, before we go in there, we've got, uh, now we've got a new place to go to. But before I go in there, let's go back to town, 
grab another piece of bait at the bait shop, I think, is what I need to make this work. Gentle player, at this point, you should be thankful that your computer does not have odor emulation capability. <laughs> this place smells horrible. I mean, really bad. So bad, in fact, that- Hey, you don't like it? Leave. All right, well, anyway. Okay, taking some free bait. I use that with the scupperware. There, now my bait will stay fresh. Okay. All right, I think I was right. Let's leave, go back to the overworld map. And head back to the booty. Whoops, not there. Okay. And we'll find out. You'll see what I needed that for in a second. Whoop. Get back to the. Alright, so. I need to get behind these trees. Oh. They're very tropical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. That there must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Okay, climb down. Wow, skulls everywhere. What an odd collection of junk. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much valuable stuff in here. Hey, a skull, is it Murray? No. One of these I can talk to. I don't remember which one it is. What kind of twisted freak keeps the skulls of his victims lying in piles around his showroom? I bet he wasn't hugged much as a child. Talk? Mm, darn, I could talk to one of these, I just don't remember which one. Unless I can look at this one over here. Oh, there we go. Murray? Guess not. <laughs> okay, well. What's this button do? Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot. And the Marley heirlooms. I've got to find a way to get in there. I should have looked at the button first. This button practically screams push me. <laughs> That's why. Hmm. i got to get in there. Maybe we can break the glass? Hmm. I knew that wouldn't... Uh, for the record, I knew that wasn't going to work. I just really wanted to do it. It makes me laugh. All right, so let's get out of here. So we found the loot, but we got to get to it. Not so shallow water. I think there's... It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Well, I need you to jump in there. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom oh, easily. Oh, wait a minute. I need to... I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I need to go to the not so shallow water. It's not so shallow here. I can just make out the bottom. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Ugh. Go into the water. Why? I don't remember how to get him to dive. Unless there was shallow, not so shallow, and deep. Maybe I need... Oh, there we go. Dive into deep. My bad. Look familiar? Hey, Electrofish. Well, it's... Wish those fish would come over here so I could see something. Yeah, it is awfully dark. Let's open the scupper. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Gotcha. All right, now I can see. Well, here's the entrance. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. All right, here's the Marley heirlooms. Let's reclaim them. Hey, something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Hmm. Okay, well, let's pick up this brass screw. All right, let's get out of here. And back to town. We 
we finally got everything we need. Whoop, wrong way. Okay, there's the law office we need to go to. The jailhouse. I'm gonna save again, pen, in case of another crash. Whoop. Okay. Hey, Inspector, look! I found the loot! I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you didn't steal it. Oh, you're gonna be that guy. Okay, well, here's the screw. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Well, then, perhaps we should give it a try. Oh, still you. Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. Well, let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit! Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you! Well, all right, then. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank, doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> Done paying your debt to society, Otis? Ha, freaking ha. Time to make sales, shipmates. Thank gods. I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. Ship's ready. All right. Time to go back home. All right, mateys. Stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, oh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. <laughs> and then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. Okay, and so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. And I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yikes! No, no, my dear Mrs. Marley. Three point. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of... them. Uh-oh. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service. 
Enough for this inane banter. I've got an election to win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. All right, act two, enter the manatee. I'm confused. About what? Well, how can he be alive? How can LeChuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. So yeah, apparently LeChuck's alive and he can switch between uh, forms. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Mm. Why don't I run for governor while you try to figure out the mysteries of the ultimate insult? Hmm. That's close, but I've got a better idea. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. Uh. <clears throat> this is what it's like being a first lady. Yeah, not fun, is it, Guybrush? All right, let's head out and see if we can talk to the voodoo lady. So going into town, Elaine's going to be campaigning all over town, but here's the International House of Mojo. Hmm, ominous. I believe we have to pull this finger. If I want to point at something, I'll use my own index finger. I'm wrong. Um... Wait. Look at Pinky. Was it the ring finger? I don't need another ring finger. No, I thought it was just finger. Oh, you know what? It was, um... Use. Ah, I was pressing the wrong key. There we go. Yikes! Oh, hello. You pulled? Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with LucasArts. <laughs> in any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, what do you know about the ultimate insult? I see that you are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? Uh, what is it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult is. Good guess. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted and five times as dangerous. Yowie. What does it do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? That's all? I thought it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults, Threepwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo permanently. Wow! Now wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? You'd think that, wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so ancient that it's rumored to be the primal language, the tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and mock it into oblivion. 
Whoa. Indeed. Yikes. That's deep. All right, how do I make it? I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea how to make an ultimate insult talisman. That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult-wielding hoon guns that shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands. That's awful. And bad for business. As a face-saving gesture, the united voodoo workers of the Tri-Island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate insult recipe, lest one ever be assembled again. Yikes. Okay, where can I find it? I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult. It would be good to know where to start. As I said, the instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed. However, I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island. Monkey Island? Mm, no, too obvious. It was some other island entirely. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Hmm, okay. Very well. Uh, let's see. What do the, te the heirlooms have to do with the ultimate insult? I sense that you want to know the connection between the Mali heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Stop doing that! But you're right. This chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, I sense powerful voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Lacy veils and prenups too. Show us the symbol of something new. Ooh, a necklace. Bridesmaids tinged with jealous sorrow. Bring to light a present borrowed. A pen on a chain? What kind of present is that? One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. Maybe it's still on Luker Island. I don't think so. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Melee Island. How curious. Interesting. So the heirlooms we got, we got, uh... We got Elaine something old, something new, something borrowed, but we're missing her something blue. We're gonna have to figure out where that is, but apparently it's on Melee Island. Um, so what am I supposed to do what with What am I these? supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth, they hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. The woman who wore the earrings. Okay. Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. Hmm, okay, well... I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Alright, thank you, nice lady. Hmm, interesting. The lady who wore the earrings. Can I get any clue about that? By... Nah, I don't think they'd go with my outfit. They're a pair of old wooden earrings, and they're pink. Pink? Wooden earrings. Does Melee really want an agent of the Undead Legions of Heck governing its fiscal policy? I think Ooh. not. Hmm, we'll have to come to that later. All right, so there's one place on Melee Island we haven't checked yet. Let's go look at it. Meat Hook's House of Axe. Hey, it's Meat Hook. All right, let's go see if we can talk to him. Meat Hook? Meat Hook! Guybrush, I'd heard you were killed by a giant clam. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Not to mention celebrated. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my humble loft, old friend? Uh, 
I thought we could catch up. I thought we could catch up on old times. Like what? Uh, how did you, Carl, and Otis escape? How did you and Carla and Otis... Escaped from Monkey Island. Same way you did, of course. On Herman's hidden pirate ship? Herman had a ship? That jerk never told us. I, uh, guess we didn't escape the same way you did. Well, I mean, we all took the boat out, but okay. Um, maybe I should have destroyed the ship. <laughs> I would have seen the different ending. What happened to your parrot? Whatever happened to your parrot? You mean the beast? Oh, he died. Hunger? Loneliness. A parrot without someone to talk to is a sad parrot. That is sad. Do you still do the thing do you do? Do you still do that thing you do? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that funny thing you do. Come on, do the funny thing you do. I still don't know what you're talking about. You know, that thing you do with the talking and the face. If you don't want to do the funny thing, just say so. What are you talking about? You know, the thing with the tattoo. Ow! You mean this? Hello, Guybrush. That's it. <laughs> Could you do the thing with the tattoo again? Sure. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> you can make his tattoo talk. On uh, second thought, I really don't have time to reminisce. Fine by me. What do you want to talk about? Uh, what's with all the candles? What's with all the candles? I use them to create me art. Your art? I didn't know you had an art. Oh, yes. As a child, I was one of the foremost watercolor painters in the Tri-Island area. See? Here are me old paintbrushes. Nice. I love painting, but after I lost me hands in the accident, I just sort of drifted into piracy. I didn't really like being a pirate, but what else could I do? I was a painter with no hands. Hmm, how'd you end up painting with wax? So how did you end up painting with wax? Well, after me traumatic experience on Monkey Island... Sorry. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate no more and resolved to return to the world of art. Well, to make a long story short... Too late. One night, I discovered that I could create paintings from the wax drippings of colored candles impaled on me orcs. Since then, I have been known to art lovers everywhere as Meat Hook, Master of Wax. That's the silliest story I've heard in hours. Hmm, okay. Do you sell a lot of these? Do you sell a lot of these wax dripping paintings? They're selling like wildfire, which is ironic. Why? Because if you put them next to a wildfire, they melt. <laughs> Interesting. The humor of the artistic elite has always escaped me. I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult. I could use your help. How can I help? Uh, looking for his fourth wedding present. I'm looking present. for Grandpa Marley's fourth wedding present. Why? Because it'll help me find the island of the pieces of the ultimate insult. That's funny. Why? Many years ago, when I was a child prodigy using conventional watercolors, Grandpa Marley hired me to paint him a map of the Tri-Island area. He said it was going to be a wedding present for his granddaughter. Unfortunately, he left for Australia before I finished it. Where's that painting today? I don't know. When I began working with wax, I painted over all my old watercolors. I just couldn't stand looking at them anymore. I think I covered Marley's map with some sort of landscape. That's all I can remember, though. Do you still have it? Oh, no. My waxy creations are sold faster than I can produce them. Marley's map could be anywhere by now. Darn. Hmm. So, sounds like the, for the blue present was a map, but it was painted over with wax. If it exists on Monkey Island, we're gonna have to go finding it. Um... Do you think that the map you painted for Grandpa Marley is really the fourth wedding present? It seems likely. And you really don't know where it is? All I know is that it's out there, somewhere, with a beautiful waxy landscape painted over it. Okay. I think I'll plumb this ultimate insult mystery on my own. Okay. Anything else? Mm. Nothing important. Go back to what you were doing. Thanks. I don't know how to unlock the bit of dialogue, but... Um, Meat Hook kept these paintbrushes, which I think he mentions are, are uh, unbreakable. Let's just take this and leave. Okay. Let's head back to town. There's one gaping difference about Melee Island since we've gotten back here. 
Good afternoon, citizens. I'm Melee Island Governor Elaine Marley, and I'm running for re-election. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, one more thing. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to the harbor. Hmm. Hey, there's a quarter in here. Oh, there's a quarter in the chain. It's a coin. Let's pick it up. Can we use it with the grog machine? It's jammed, stupid grog machine. Well, that stinks. Kick it. <clears throat> okay, punch it. Ah! All right, let's shake it. Ah! Um, yell at it? Give me back my quarter. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's pick up a can. Can I drink it? Guybrush, what did I tell you about drinking grog? Uh... Guybrush, Ulysses Threepwood. No grog until my errands are finished. Okay, well, I guess not. Oh, we got a can of grog. Let's go to, uh, to the Lua Bar. Oop, no. No, turn. Okay, there we go. All right, don't know what's going on here, but we're gonna find out. Great pictures of Grog. They've done something horrible to the scum bar. Welcome to the Lua Bar. I'll be right with you. Oh, jeez. Well. Well, there's a laxy landscape if I've ever seen one. I'm not picking that up. Let's this sit on seat the seat. seat is all wet. Oh. I better choose another one. Oh, how, no. Go back in there. All right, let's use the bar stool. I'll just sit over here. Excuse me, miss. Um, miss? Can I help you? Hmm. What happened to the scum bar? Oh, we're under new management now. We've done away with all the pirate swill and wenches. Ooh. But I liked the pirates. Ew, gross. Nobody likes real pirates anymore. That's so last week. Uh. But I liked the swill. We've replaced that old swill with family-friendly fun beverages. We have quite a selection. But I like the wenches. I mean, they, um made it so authentically piratey. Our decorators went for realism without the fright. They insisted that we replace the wenches with totems and bamboo. Drink sales are down, but we can turn the lights on again. Excuse me, I have customers waiting? But, but I'm a customer. Excuse me, miss. Get back here. Um, miss? Can I help you? Um... I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. What can I get you? I'll have a grog. We don't have that, but we do have a fine selection of tropical drinks. What? No grog? I'm not sure what that is, but I know we don't carry it. Can I interest you in a fine tropical drink? They come with cute little umbrellas. Okay, fine. What kind of umbrella drinks? Well, we have a few specialties. Deep blue sea with a coral reef chaser, monkfish mango madness, and barnacles and James Bryan cooler. But if you haven't noticed by now, uh, this is working on one of those sushi little sushi boat Perhaps I'll delivery take it systems. Over. Okay. Let me know when you decide. Uh, let's see. Can you recommend something from the menu? Oh, the sushi is all very good. Our chef is one of the best there is. Um, what sushi? Are you for real? Everyone's eating it these days. Okay. It's raw fish artistically prepared with natural ingredients from the sea. That sounds pretty gross. Well, we do have a heated dish for the less trendy people like you. Try the flaming scuttlefish. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? I'll have the flaming scuttlefish. Um... Can you recommend something? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's for people like you. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess let's sit and wait here. Ooh, divers can see the propulsion. There's some sort of mechanical stuff under the water that's making these boats go. Wow, that is definitely flaming. Let's see if we can play with the system here. Oh, 
I sure can. Just gotta get this timed right. I think now. That, nope, little too early. What is this? The boats. <laughs> they are stopped. Uh, oh, shoot. I better move before he sees what I did. So I'm gonna mess around with this. I know that this isn't the full solution. I really have to wait, but there's something I really want to see because I don't remember if I've ever done this before. What in the name of I do? Oh, here is the problem. Some smart Alec has jammed the works. So help me if I find out who this is. I always, I wanted to get this done too. There's the... Mmm, warm. No, where's the Brit? Hang on. No, I can... So what are you gonna do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night. Try to take over the Caribbean. Brass mechanical monkey. Hmm, brass monkey. That's monkey monkey! <laughs> I love that joke. All right, uh, let's take our grog. I'm not supposed to do this yet, but I just want to try it anyway. Um, not with the stove. With the oh, I can do that now. Oh boy! Uh oh! <laughs> Sacre bleu! Kitchen. Uh, looking for a menu. Looking for a menu. What are the specials? Out! 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 Oh, you fixed it. Okay. Interesting. So I've got a half full can of grog, so maybe we can try that again. Pick up the paintbrush and try that whole sequence over. Uh, we need to sit back on the stool. Okay, let's take out the paintbrush. Prepare to jam it in the mechanism. Just gotta get this timed right. Right about now. Perfect. Okay. Oh, mon dieu, not again! Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. Sacre bleu! I do not understand. Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? All right. Let's make this quick before he comes back. Use the half full can of grog on the steam generator. Got our fourth heirloom. Let's take care of one more loose end before we call this a video. Let's head back to the harbor. So, the voodoo lady mentioned finding the lady who wore the earrings, but I don't know a single lady who would ever wear wooden earrings. But what if, and follow me on this one, what if she was also a wooden lady? Those things really don't go together with the figurehead, stupid. Who, what, where? Oh, 
tribe's not again. Couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous and animate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked-off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. Well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog light swilling nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? <laughs> okay. Well, that's an interesting side effect. Let's also give her the necklace. A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. Okay, hurtful. Uh, let's also give her the pen. What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? I'm getting there. All right, let's give her the map. Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. Yikes. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Threepdorn. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you, walking around like you've got a bow spread up your... Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. I forgot to kiss you goodbye. Kid. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! Oh, ungrateful. Uh, Mr. Cheese, <laughs> wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? Ah, <laughs> where'd be the fun in that, Captain? Cry havoc and let the the release the cracker! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the ship cannot stand the strain, Captain! There's no place like home! There's no place like home! This was only supposed to be a three-hour tour. <laughs> well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky-themed restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. Yeah, I don't think so. That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. Okay, we have got some work to do. Let's save and call that a video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And until next week's video, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.